Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, apparently there's a new form of malware called Adrozek that's affecting hundreds of thousands of users on the internet. My name is Alex, welcome back to Lab Cyber. Hope you're doing well and you're staying safe wherever you are. I've got two articles, one from PCMac.com, and the title here says Microsoft warns Adrozek malware is infecting thousands of PCs to insert ads, and then another one from ZDNet.com that says Microsoft exposes a Josec malware that hijacks Chrome, Edge, and Firefox. So basically, the idea here is that this malware will target your browser, whether it's Edge, Firefox, or Chrome, and also the Yandex browser, by the way. It will target the browser, disable all its security features, and then it will start to insert ads into your search results. But let's take a look at the article from start to finish. So down here, We've got the how Adrozek spreads and works. Now, Microsoft says that currently the malware is distributed via classic drive-by download schemes. Now, if you don't know what a drive-by download is, it's basically what happens when you visit a shady web page or a shady website. You might actually have malware being installed in the background. So it's not like you have to maybe click on the button to install the malware or install the, the software just by visiting that web page or website, the malware gets triggered and it will run and install itself in the background. That's what, that's what it's called a drive-by download. So basically, users are typically redirected from legitimate sites to shady domains where they are tricked into installing the malicious software. So the software then installs the actual Androsic malware, which then proceeds to obtain reboot persistence with the help of a registry key. So the idea here is that sometimes you do have certain kinds of malware that if they've infected your PC, you can shut down your PC, restart the PC, and the malware will disappear. But what this malware does is that to ensure its persistence, even if you shut down your computer, you restart, it goes to your registry and adds a key that will ensure that it's persistent, it survives even when you shut down your computer and restart. So basically, that's the, the very first thing that it does. So once persistence is assured, the malware will look for locally installed browsers such as Microsoft Edge, Yandex browser, and so on, and then basically uh, change the way the browsers work. So right here, you have a list of the things that it does. It basically disables updates, security checks, safe browsing. It basically turns off all the security features of your browser, and then it starts to install ads in your search results. Now over here, we've got two examples. Here you've got on the left, such results for Xbox on an unaffected machine. And then on the right, you have the results for uh, a machine that's been infected by the malware. So Xbox right now on the left, you have your actual link to the real uh, Xbox website. But then on the right, you now have ads. Install Xbox free download, Xbox free download, Xbox download now for free, free download, free download. And you can see all these very shady links. Uh, free.pdfconverterhq.com, uh, you have my socials, shortcut.com, all these very funny, shady looking links. And then on the right, I'm sorry, on another example, you have the search results for Microsoft. So on the left, you actually have the real link to Microsoft's website, you have Office 365 login and so on. And then on the right, you have the search results for the address like malware, and then you have Get Microsoft Visual 2019, uh, ask software tech support, uh, get Microsoft Visual 2019, buy Microsoft and so on. So you can see right now that once the malware has been installed, the search results change. You now start to see more of ads in your search results as opposed to actual real links. Now, how the hackers make money is that if a user was to click on any one of these links, they will get paid because these are kind of like affiliate links and they get paid each time a user clicks on any one of the links. So even if the user goes on to buy the product, uh, they might actually make some money as well from that. So that's how the hackers are able to make their money. So that's the very annoying thing about this particular malware. It disables the security features of your browser, inserts ads into your search results, and then last but not least, the most dangerous part about this particular uh, malware is the fact that it can actually now steal data that's been saved on your browser. So for example, if you're the kind of user who saves passwords, usernames on your browser, this malware can actually uh, extract that data and send it uh, to the hacker. So that's the very, very dangerous part uh, of this particular uh, malware. Now, 
the hackers themselves, they need, they need to have a presence on the internet in order to spread the malware. And according to uh, Microsoft, uh, let me show you, the company tracked Adrozex distribution to 159 unique domains, which then host tens of thousands of URLs to try and spread the malware. So basically, they have 159 websites active on the internet that they're using to spread out the malware. And each of these websites, they have many pages, many posts, Basically, they host tens of thousands of URLs each to try and spread the malware. So that's basically how uh, they are spreading the malware on the internet. And a massive operation is expected to grow even further. And according to Microsoft, they're saying right now that uh, while many of the domains host tens of thousands of URLs, if you had more than 100,000 unique URLs, with one hosting almost 250,000 URLs. That is insane. And as you can see right now, they've been pretty successful. Uh, at one point back in August, they were affecting more than 30,000 devices each day. <sighs> that, is, that, is, uh, that is really something. So that's it for today's video. Let me just quickly tell you right now that to avoid yourself getting uh, affected by uh, the malware just make sure that you don't visit shady websites you know file sharing websites places like that don't go there and of course don't install any funny looking software whenever you're asked to do so if you go to a web page and it says hey you know to read this article you, you need to install this add-on or you need to install this software don't do that ensure that you have yourself uh, a good anti-malware software running on your pc you should be fine and let me just also mention that uh they have discovered that most of the affected users are from Europe and Southeast Asia. So if you're living in Europe, you're living in Southeast Asia, uh, you might want to be extra careful on, you know, the places that you visit online uh, over the next few weeks. Uh, last but not least, uh, I would recommend using the Brave browser. At least the Brave browser has not been affected by this particular malware. And if you don't know what the Brave browser is, I am planning to make a tutorial on the Brave Browser. It's going to be my very next video, so uh, be sure to be on the lookout for that video. I should release it in about uh, two or three days. So I'm Alex from Lab Cyber. I wanted to talk about this particular uh, topic because it's apparently catching the internet by storm and uh, lots of people are getting uh, infected. So please be careful. Don't infect your PC with the Adrozek uh, malware. If you know of anyone who might benefit from this particular video, please do share the video with them. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up really does help my videos. So please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and if you feel like you learned something. My name is Alex from Lab Cyber. Stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time.